Uh, we're here with the 1965 Ford F100 uh, restoration. Uh, just got back from vacation today. Well, actually yesterday. Uh, first day I got to work on the truck again. Um, wound up, uh, went up to St. Augustine for a week and uh, went and checked out all the all the uh, attractions up there in St. Augustine, Florida. Uh, Fountain of Youth and all the uh, old forts and I guess the oldest house in the United States. You got forts back from the 1500s and that. It's a pretty cool place if you ever get a chance to go see it. Um, anyways, uh, start doing some uh, repair work on these little rust areas down here in the corners. Uh, just got done uh, taking the cutoff wheel and cutting out the little piece there. Um, brought it over here and uh, this was the piece I cut out. You can see the rust hole in it. Uh, traced it out on the new metal and I'll cut it out on my uh, throatless shear. And, uh, and then I'll weld it in and grind down the weld. That should be done. And then do the same thing to the other one. Um, Anyways, I'll set you back here, and I'm just going to go ahead and finish that up real quick. And there we have the piece all trimmed and fit in. And just weld her in and it should be good to go. I won't bore you with all the welding. I'll uh, tune back in after I get this all finished up. Alright, there we just uh, finished welding in that piece and grinding the weld down. I don't know if you can see in the light. It's all nice and flush now. Got one little tiny uh, spot I could probably put another little tack weld in there and grind it off. Left a little pinhole. Other than that, that's pretty much uh, all I've been doing on all these rust holes. The um, reason why I don't usually uh, show you the welding um, I'm in my backyard. Uh, I'm doing this on my back porch. Uh, I got a 220 volt uh, Miller welder and I don't have 220 back here so I have to I made a pigtail extension cord and I run it off my I run it off my 5500 watt gas generator um, so it gets pretty loud. I have to fire up the generator every time I want to do a little weld. Um, this is the easiest way of doing it. I have the, the 220 in the front in the garage and uh, being I can't restore this on my front driveway without code enforcement getting on my ass, I have to do all the welding back here. So, um, Other than that, I'm going to go ahead and get this other one going and that should be the end of the welding as far as I can think of on the truck. I got uh, I repaired all the rust holes on the cab, I repaired the lip around the top, um, repaired the radiator support and all that. Um, all I got now pretty much is body work. Um, I, I do have the, the two doors, the bottom of the doors have the corners right there on each side, but uh, the doors are, they'll come later. I'm, I'm mainly trying to get the cab done to where I can paint the cab and all that stuff. Um, quick little note for uh, Muddy Water 6, just in case uh, you're, I know you just did the, the same thing or working on the same thing that I just finished um, I went ahead and used those 
uh, store-bought pieces. Um, these were real nice. Uh, they fit in real nice. The only thing is, is where you're welding, you're going to have to, uh, you got to go back and cut it because the, it supplies the top hole in the bracket. So what you're going to have to do is cut it across, you know, the middle and remo remove this whole piece. And then the new piece goes in. What I did is I made, before I cut this out, I made a little bracket that I measured the distance of the two holes here. And then when I put my new piece in, I just screwed the bolts in and it kind of held it exactly where it needed to be as far as uh, the distance of the spacing here for the holes. Uh, then I just basically had punched some holes and uh, tack welded it there. And then I went back and welded it across up in here. Same thing on the other side. Um, not saying it's the best thing to buy, but they're real heavy duty. They're real nice, so if you're not happy with the way the ones you're making yourself are coming out, then uh, I would def definitely recommend buying the, uh, the store-bought ones. It's worth the money, I think. They're pretty heavy duty. Um, I'll show you the other side, too. They're all rusty now because they've been sitting out here. This one's not quite as bad, but um, yeah, it just made it much better. You can see, uh, if you look in my older videos, you can see where these were actually free floating just like yours are. Now I got them all uh, welded in and worked out nice. Um, other than that, I appreciate everybody's uh, comments and I uh, appreciate everybody else's videos. It's kind of cool to compare what you're doing with everybody else and get ideas and stuff on how to do things and um, other than that uh, hopefully we'll have some more videos coming up here thanks for watching all right I'm all done uh, this was the uh, second fender um, this one didn't come out quite as nice as I liked all I did is replace this piece here which what I did come out good um, this you can see this sinkhole here that was actually where somebody else had uh, brazed in a piece and uh, they did a shitty job of it it's uh, got a low spot there and I was trying to decide whether to go ahead and cut this whole section but then I'd have to deal with the contour here so I mean this this is all good I got this all uh, smooth you know smooth enough to where I can do some body body work on it where they braze this piece in I had to do a couple little patch welds where the braze had cracked um, I don't really want to cut that out so I think what I'm gonna do is just kinda from the back side try and uh, knock that out just a little bit and then I'll just uh, touch it up with some uh, a little bit of body filler to level it out because I just really don't want to cut all that out I mean it's not rusted at all it's just uh, whoever did it 20 years ago instead of lining it up flush with the metal they kind of left it the thickness of the uh, metal lower so it created a divot there anyways other than that um, that should be it for for the rust other than uh, like I said the doors I gotta pull the doors off and fix the outer door skin and uh, and then welding my exhaust back up and then uh, that should be it for welding and then we can just get all this body work done and hopefully get some paint on this pig soon um, we'll uh, hopefully have some videos here coming up thanks